I wanted to ask a quick question. I know this is more probably of a personal question as to what projects you're working on, but I've noticed that you started Haskell for Mac and you did a, um, I checked the GitHub and everything like that. And um, you did a live coding for a Flappy Bird clone in Haskell. So if anyone's familiar with the game Flappy Bird, um, I I know it was all the rage back, I don't know, a few years ago. And then... (laughs) You also did in your GitHub um, something called Big Pixel, which was uh, designed for Minecraft games. And um, I, I noticed that you're interested in gaming. So do you see, and Charles has spoke of gaming solutions within Cardano in the future. So do you see any gaming solutions for Cardano? And do you see that they could provide some value added um, substance to the gaming industry? So, I mean, I think there have been several discussions about um, kind of having games on a blockchain where basically the blockchain um, moderates the parties and you have can have a distributed uh, game without uh, any central server, which is like the game master or something like that. And I think that's that's... Uh, it's like often with gaming. On one hand, you can, of course, say, well, it's just a game, who cares? Um, but it's through play that, I mean, as children, we learn through play. And um, I think as grown ups, we still can learn through playing. And uh, thinking about these games um, really is a way of a kind of exploring the space of possibilities of interaction. So what kind of assurances can you provide in a game, in a fully distributed, decentralized game um, in the first place? I mean, um, without a blockchain, you could say, well, there's no assurance. Everybody can cheat. So it's uh, boring. The game becomes boring if anybody, everybody can cheat. So now, now you've got this entity which provides decentralized trust Now, what can you do with this trust? What kind of rules, what kind of games can you establish um, even even the trust base you've got and the rules uh, that you can implement on the blockchain in the first place? And I think this is a really interesting um, research strand uh, to to really understand what the the possibilities, what the scope, what's the... uh, of this technology in the first place. And um, yeah, so that, that's my my take on it. Um, what kind of games will we get out of it? I'm not sure, because I think this is what we are really trying to understand at the moment is um, what, ki- what are the type of rules you can enforce in the first place? And uh, probably for a game, you don't want for every single move uh, have a transaction on the blockchain. That would make it a quite costly game. Um, so it has to be, you have to be better. You have to be able to do some work off chain, but in a way that everybody can verify that nobody cheated. And um, this is very similar in concept to things like payment channels and state channels and all these kind of things. And so, again, I think it's a great, uh, fun, playful way to explore what the scope here is um, in, a, in a less serious environment. 